Okay, everybody, welcome back. We are Spartans. Wings Rule coming at you with another video. Um, we're going to talk. I know I already have a video about this, but uh, the campaign class. Very, very important. Um, seems like it doesn't do a whole lot of much, especially for the guys that are uh, have higher level heroes and, you know, it takes a lot more XP to level them up. So, uh, we're going to show you how to focus on getting one guy up two or three slots. That's in the high, middle to um, high end hundreds. Um, so this is, I don't know, I mean a lot of people may have already figured this out, but I just thought that it might be good for us to review this and break it down so that you kind of get it. Because it actually is quite simple. I mean obviously most of you in the higher end are able to knock out the uh, campaign clash pretty easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, whatever, just five of our, our best heroes that we can just walk through the campaign clash pretty easily. And then we're going to pick a bunch of mediocre and bottom feeders. Okay, level one guys. Uh-oh. Short one. Okay. Well, we're gonna level up this Pangoli today. So let's take him. We're gonna try and take him pretty high. So let's see here. He's 118 now. So we're gonna set off. This is gonna be a fairly long video, but we're gonna try and get through it as quick as possible. Using a new uh, recording software, so hopefully things are uh, working right now, and you can hear me. But uh, we'll find out when the video is done. Obviously this isn't going to work a whole lot for the lower level guys that are still working on their heroes, but I mean even if you if you compile 1500 points, make it to level 14 or something in the, in the clash, 1400 points times, you know, 10 guys, it's a pretty solid result. Um, you know, 14,000 on a lower level hero that you're trying to build up as an aid real quick. It can really pay off pretty, uh, pretty speedy. Like I said, we're going to try and go through this pretty quick, but the beginning is so slow, as everybody is just so easy. Let's just move these guys up. up there closer speed this process up a little bit obviously my rages are level one for each guy so it makes it a lot easier but I mean the meter is full it's not going to change you guys in the in the low hundreds you will get here you'll get to this point it takes time just be patient We're going to zip through this really quick, try and uh, show you guys right off the bat well, some pretty good prizes in the shop that we can buy. I usually rely on some rings. Uh-oh, speed up. This takes a little longer because I only have one hero that can take out aerial troops. That's Pangoli, so everybody's going to just rush over to the arena quick and hopefully beat this out. Uh, 
Well, the bats are gone. So yeah, as you can see, I use pretty much the same strategy every single time. Um, Pangoli's um, skill is always first. Crack that off as quick as you can. The faster you start depleting their HP, the uh, better off you, you're going to be. That guy. Oh, look at Abyss is just out wandering around. It's playing a little slow, so this video might take a little longer than I hoped. But hopefully, this helps you guys, you know, figure out. The best way to allow, like, especially if you just got a new hero that you really like, you can focus on him. Um, a lot of people are working on Ambrosia, Great Sage. Well, it's all it's all in heroes, and I have yet to do much with Ambrosia yet. Working as an aide for me. I don't know if I have a spot for her in my lineup. I don't know who I'd take out. That's the problem. Come on, Dragon, sit down. Okay. Not getting many eggs or rings, so probably going to fill up our. Vault, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Essentially, how it works in the uh, in the arena as well. It's pretty basic. Once you get your heroes to this point, there's not really much that's going to touch you, especially if you've got this type of lineup set up. Pretty quick run through. Sometimes I don't even know what I got. I mean, the beauty of this is you always get. You know, a lot of rare heroes which are worth 100 XP when you're doing the campaign clash. So, I mean, it's not only just what the XP you're going to get for from the guys that you've leveled up, but it's also the XP you're going to get from um, from the actual the hero that you gain from your chest. So. Put them all together, you can do pretty good on a single hero. Oh, I don't hurry. Chiron's going to use his divine. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Back to full health. He's going to pose a problem. Angoli's taking a beating. Arctic Lord, look out. That's no good. Well, looks like we're going to have to try and take it the rest of the way with just three or four heroes. A few more battles. It's going to complicate things. Ah, that's going to complicate things substantially. That's 
stupid Chironda. Yeah, I have the Chironda vine, and I just really haven't found a. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a spot for him in my lineup. These are the five heroes that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Resource rating, Guild Clash, Battle Royal. Well, Battle Royal is a little different. I, I tend to use the uh, Sharpshooter strategy throughout the Battle Royal. Uh, it's just beast. I mean, you can isolate guys and just go crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah. Yeah, Sharpshooters. I use Pyro P and Chiron and then Rene Van. Still the best strategy as far as one-on-one um, -on -one with anybody other than Great Sage. Um, you got Great Sage against you. You're you're kind of in deep crap. He just wipes them all out. As you can see, all the mercenaries just disappeared from Great Sage's divine skill. And I don't know if anybody can say that there's a more, just a dominating divine skill than what Great Sage is bringing to the table. But I mean, really, this is the only reason that I've made it through here with just the four heroes is because of the Great Sage divine. Okay, so we made it through. Oh, I got some eggs and rings here. What we got in here? Nothing. Not a single pack of rings. Nothing. Okay, so that's that battle summary. <coughs> okay, so you can see all these heroes that were level 1 are now going to be level 14. And Pango is still 118, and that's where we're going to put him. So let's uh, move over to the 118 Pango. And we're going to select all. It's already 119. But now we're going to have to select all these TCs. Oh. Max on his glory points. So that puts him right there. Okay. Let's do it. There you go. 118 and 120 and maxed out. And we still have some left over. Who's next? Uh, okay, let's just pop it on here because we want to have a Pangoli aid for every one of our heroes, our main starting heroes. I mean, we can't do better than that, so we just went up one level, almost two. So yeah, hopefully they have a spending day soon, and uh, we will maybe do a hiring. Nice. Okay, so that's it. That's how you do it. Um, like I said, you know, try not to lose heroes like I did. I wasn't paying that much attention. Okay, so uh, we'll talk to you guys uh, on the next video. Have a good time. See you later.